The United Nations ministerial meeting on Sudan presented hopeful signs for the future of a stable and prosperous Sudan, as well as a commitment to support the exploration of the possibility of a separate southern state that would live in harmony alongside its northern neighbor. Your council, I would say, would be fully aware that both parties can arrive at political settlements to the pending questions uh, which will enable us to undertake a just, impartial and credible referendum that would allow our brothers in the South to express their genuine will free from any influences. The Security Council reaffirms its strong commitment to the sovereignty, independence, peace and stability of Sudan and to a peaceful and prosperous future for all Sudanese people and underlines its support for the Sudanese party's full and timely implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed concern about delays in the preparation for the referendum, partly due to the lack of sufficient funding. The UN chief noted that all obstacles should be removed so that the referendum commission can complete its duties. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton noted the importance of peace and stability of Sudan, the significance not only for Sudan but also its neighbors and the rest of Africa. The path to peace and prosperity to good neighborliness, to partnership and cooperation for all Sudanese is clear. It is up to the government of Sudan, it is up to the SPLM in the South to decide whether to walk that path. If it does, the United States stands ready to assist you and most importantly to assist the next generation of Sudanese children so that they can have a future without war and conflict. The Security Council said the Sudan is one of its most urgent challenges and called on the Sudanese government to make sure to renew efforts to ensure that voting is held on time. We are happy with the statements made on the floor here by uh, His Excellency um, uh, Pagan and uh, the Sudanese uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Ambassador uh, Kati, uh, which are very encouraging, uh, which uh, say, uh, says for itself that they will, they will uh, not only accept the results of the referendum, but they look forward to a peaceful referendum on time and on date. And we in uh, Uganda are pretty encouraged because we are the frontline country uh, bordering uh, southern Sudan. Sudan's President al-Bashir and southern Sudan's President Salva Kiir are expected to meet next week in efforts to resolve differences on holding a separate referendum and to decide whether the oil-rich Abaye region will be part of the north or a possible new country in the south. The Security Council welcomes and encourages efforts toward the January 9th independence referendum. Afaf Kanja, South South News, United Nations.